Alright, it is that time again guys. We are looking at another Push Square quiz. These guys release like a new quiz every week. This one is our PlayStation 3 exclusives. And PlayStation 3 is my jam. PlayStation 3 is where I spent the most of my time gaming. It's where I fell in love with trophies. I feel like I know that ecosystem better than any other. I know it better than PS4, I know it better than PS2, it's better than PS1. This is my thing. And, and this time we are planning on getting 98% score in this quiz. <laughs> Let's dive in and take a look at the quiz. Now, like all these Push Square quizzes, I've left the link in the description down below for the quiz. I encourage you guys to click on the link and play through this one with me. Maybe click on the link now, play through the quiz quickly so you can sort of see what your scores are and then compare them with my scores. Or you can just play along in the video as well. I want you guys to put your scores to the quiz in the comment section down below once you're done as well to see who got better, whether you guys beat me, whether you guys did worse than me, whether I did better than you. I am the PlayStation 3 king. So I expect to score well in this. I need to find some PlayStation merch. I feel like I need to be wearing something PlayStationified for this quiz. Hang on a second. Oh, that feels much better now that I have my, uh, my PlayStation 3 hat on. So this is a, can you name these PS3 exclusives? Obviously it's focusing on just PlayStation 3 exclusive titles in this one. So let's dive in and let's see how I do. Name the PS3 exclusive. You know what, I'm, I'm, I don't even wanna see the options. That's how confident I am in some of these. Now this, is Starhawk. Now the reason Starhawk has such a soft spot for me is because it, this is a Platinum that I was on track to earn and the servers got shut off unfortunately. I knew they were coming, I was working towards getting on the online on it and I missed out by like one trophy, maybe two trophies because the servers got shut off. This bothered me so much because I loved the game as well. The single player was awesome, the multiplayer was awesome and I just, I just, I just didn't get the Platinum, it sucked. Okay, so this is obviously this is Ratchet and Clank. Now in particular, uh, I'm guessing they're gonna, are they gonna make us get, yeah, they, they want us to guess, okay. So this is Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. This was the final Ratchet and Clank game that launched on the PlayStation 3. I, I do remember this because of his armor that he's wearing. Uh, this was a really, really neat game. This came out like after all the other Ratchet and Clank games released, you know, the, 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 the bad ones. The All for One, the Tower Defense game, um, those kind of terrible Ratchet and Clank games. This was the last one. So this is Into the Nexus. See, look, your boy knows. Okay, so this is PlayStation 3 exclusives. Ah, uh, okay, so this is God of War, obviously. Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus aren't PlayStation 3 exclusives. They're PSP exclusives that got ported to, I guess, PS2, and then they got remastered on PS3 as well. I think that's right, anyway. This is uh, God of War Ascension. This is the prequel God of War game. So this predates, I guess, God of War 1, but it was the final God of War game that came out on the PlayStation 3 before the reboot. This game is Heavenly Sword. I recognize the, the character. I can't remember her name now. She's got the red hair. This was made by Ninja Theory when they were still working on PlayStation exclusives. Heavenly Sword, yep. Okay. Look at this. I'm on a roll. I'm so overly confident though. Like it's it's actually, I do not like the smugness that I have right now. Okay, this is a Yakuza game. It's interesting because this, as you can see in the background, Tokyo is completely destroyed. So my guess is that this is Yakuza Dead Souls. This was a spin-off Yakuza game. I guess where all the characters kind of came together in a zombified version of Yakuza. It wasn't very good. Don't, don't recommend it if you're after it, um, but it's Dead Souls, good. See, you know what's funny about this one is initially I actually thought White Knight Chronicles, but it's not. This is Lair, uh, which was like a very, very early on PlayStation 3 exclusive game that came out. There's a ton of jokes about that game because it was just not great and uh, and people like to kind of reference it when they're talking about like the early days, the rough days of PS3. Uh, this is Motorstorm Apocalypse. This is the earthquake version of the game, I guess. This is the version of the game that came out I guess it was the year the uh, the PlayStation hack happened and there was like this terrible earthquake in Tokyo that year, uh, in Japan that year, and they actually delayed the game a number of months because of it. Uh, name the exclusive. All right, this is uh, a Tales of Cilia, but I don't know if it's Tales of Cilia 1 or 2. I have a feeling it's Tales of Cilia 2. I haven't played these games for such a long time and I never finished either of them. I think he's only on one of them though. I'm gonna say, ah, this, 
Let's see, my confidence is going out. I, th I think it's Tau's Auxilia too. Let's say two. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, that's good. I was a little bit worried there. I knew it was one of those two. Uh, that's that's good, that's good. Okay, name the PS3 exclusive. Uh, this is not mag and it's not resistance, so it's definitely a SOCOM game. Can't remember if it's Navy SEALs or Navy SEALs Confrontation though. I don't actually remember what was different about those two. SOCOM games obviously look like the same. I'm guessing one of them might have had like a squad element to it and that's why there's like all these soldiers there. Maybe that's the differentiating thing. I'm gonna say Confrontation. However, I don't know. This is a guess between either Navy SEALs or Confrontation. I don't know. Yeah, see, I, I, I didn't spend a ton of time with these games. I played SOCOM on PS3, but I can't like honestly say that it was, you know, something I spent a lot of time with. Oh, this is a move game. This is a uh, sorcery. You guys might remember this. This was the game they used to promote the PlayStation Move when it when it first got revealed. Um, it looked super cool with controlling the guy with uh, the, the the little thumbstick thing and then the Move controller to use your wand. And the game looked so awesome when they revealed this. And then the actual game kind of like disappeared for a few years. And then when it finally came out, it didn't really look like what they showed in the tech demo. Um, but this is sorcery. These two games here, Book of Spells and Book of Potions, were both Wonderbook games. You guys might remember Wonderbook. I feel like Wonderbook would be a good video to do on this channel. Um, okay, that's Sorcery. This is... This is Haze. Now, I never actually played Haze, but the reason I, I, I'm 99% I'm confident that it's Haze is because I remember the box art for Haze having that yellow helmet on it, or the character with the yellow helmet on it, and there's the yellow bits here. I also know it's not Killzone and Resistance 3, and Dust, I, I don't know what Dust is. Um, got that one correct, feel good about that. Okay, name the exclusive, this is LBP Karting. I guess maybe this was like relatively unknown, maybe this game didn't have like a ton of media, and maybe it didn't sell particularly well, I don't know. Like, this was actually a cool game, I actually enjoyed it a lot when it came out. Uh, Name the exclusive. It's right, Heavenly Sword, Ninja Gaiden, Mobile Suit Gundam, and then MGS. It's Metal Gear Solid 4. This is Raiden, obviously. Uh, yeah, Guns of the Patriots. Um, okay, name the exclusive. Tales of Cilia, Blast Factor, Last Rebellion, Time and Eternity. I I don't know this. I know it's not Last Rebellion, and I know it's not Tales of Cilia, because I've platinumed those games, except for Tales, because I never finished it. But I don't believe I've played Blast Factory, so I'm guessing it's that. It's Time and Eternity. I feel like I've played Time and Eternity. I mean, I, I guess I haven't. <laughs> I, I figured, I, I, I assumed I had. So that turns out to be two games I haven't touched on this list. Uh, name the exclusive. This is Siren Blood Curse. This was a, this was a really cool game. It had some really cool uh, vibes of like, um, what do you call it? Silent Hill, which I love. Uh, the, the enemies are super creepy in this one. They creep me out so much because the blood coming out of their eyes, it's like, it's very unsettling. This was obviously a franchise that was around on PS2 as well. Name the exclusive. I believe this is Killzone 3. Um, I remember the, the snow in that game. It was like, the, the 2 didn't have snow in it. 3 did. Name the exclusive here. I don't know. I remember the penguin. Like, I recognize this penguin guy here. But I don't, I don't think I've ever played the game that he was from. Or maybe I've seen him in like an avatar or something like that. Uh, it's, I don't know. I'm going to go with either Trinity Universe or the Guided Fate Paradox. I think it's Guided Fate Paradox. But it's a guess. We're going to guess it. Turns out it's Trinity Universe. That's Cole from Infamous. Now, what they've done here is they've taken uh, Infamous Festival of Blood. This is the spin-off like DLC game where Cole becomes a vampire. Pretty crazy stuff. And uh, you can tell by the, the you know, his, uh, his amp has like changed and stuff like that. He's obviously a lot darker in the vampire one. So that's that one there. This is a, oh, this is another move controller game, which is kind of funny. This is Time Crisis Raging Storm. I remember playing this, I picked it up as one of the move launch titles or whatever it was and was kind of disappointed with it and name the game oh, this is invisibles do you guys remember invisibles I, this was this was a cool franchise i i played this game and the two vita games i think i played the psp one as well uh they were different they were for like you had to raise an animal and battle it and stuff it was like an ar game it was quite neat similar to like pokemon and i don't know neopets i guess and then this was a platformer basically 
or mascot platformer, Invisible's Lost Kingdom. There we go, so we are 17 out of 20. That is a respectable score, my friends. These quizzes are always super challenging. They're just so hard. They always have stuff in them that just throws you off the scent. Heaps of the stuff in here was designed to trick you as well. So I'm kind of pleased with this result. 17 out of 20, PlayStation 3 aficionado. They used to tell you like how well you did and how well you scored. I think I've earned the right to keep wearing my PlayStation 3 fishing hat. Yeah, that's it. That's the PlayStation quiz. Hopefully you guys scored equally as well as I did. Let me know in the comment section down below. There are a few of you guys who I know are PlayStation 3 aficionados. PlayStation 3 Gaming Scotland, I'm expecting very high scores from you considering your channel has PlayStation 3 in the name. Let me know your score specifically down in the comments, but everyone else, I want to see how you did. Hopefully you beat me. If you did, you're a bigger PlayStation 3 buff than I am and we definitely need to challenge. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe I still retain that championship PlayStation bucket cap. Thank you guys so much for watching, I do really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying the PlayStation quizzes. I love doing these, these are so much fun, so hopefully you guys enjoy them as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching, have a great evening. Goodbye, people.